cases of black fungus have been increasing among COVID patients and the symptoms include swelling in the eyes or cheeks, black crust on their nose in extreme cases leading to loss of eyesight and removal of the nose and jawbone also in extreme cases. Now, at Delhi Sri Ranga Ram Hospital, 21 patients of the disease are currently admitted, out of which 10 are in the COVID ward, while 11 post-COVID patients are in the ENT ward. NDTV spoke with Dr. Ajay Swaroop, the chairman of the ENT department at Gangaram, to try and understand this huge menace of black fungus emerging in the country. Sir, my first question to you is, how many cases are you facing at this point of time? What's the frequency with which cases are uh, coming to you every day? Well, uh, firstly, I must say that the incidence has really, really spiraled. In my 35 years of practice, I have not seen as many cases of mucor mycosis as I've seen in the last 10 days. So that is, that gives you some idea. Secondly, coming to exact figures, uh, in a hospital like Gangaram Hospital, which is a tertiary care, so we are getting references from uh, many hospitals, otherwise also, on an average, we are getting about 20 to 25 cases per day, uh, which is an extremely high incidence. As I have said, in my 35 years of practice, I used to see maybe two or three cases in about six months and now because of this COVID crisis uh, it has really uh, increased tremendously. Uh, so the other question is that uh, there are a lot of questions being raised on the use of steroids at this point of time because it is one of the possible factors that leads to this disease. In fact the DC of Faridabad also recently announced that uh, none of the pharmacies can sell steroids until unless there is a proper prescription that the person comes with. So uh, in terms of hospital protocols, the treatment protocols, are there any particular precautions being taken on the use of steroids especially when it comes to people with diabetes who are more vulnerable to mucomycosis? Definitely, that's a very uh, valid point. Steroids are the mainstay of treatment in COVID. So, you see, one has to weigh the advantages and disadvantages. We are actually first trying to treat COVID and steroid is required. However, having said that, there is definitely now with mucor mycosis coming up so rapidly, one has to modify and be very, very careful while using steroids. For example, even people who have very mild disease and are being treated at home start taking steroids either on their own or on prescription of their treating physician. Now, that is a practice which should be totally avoided. Secondly, as far as the hospital setting is concerned, we are now first and foremost identifying high-risk patients for mucor mycosis. And these patients are who are already having uncontrolled diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. And these are the patients who have to be strictly monitored for a rational use of steroids. We have to use steroids, you see. Now let me tell you, it's it's a it's a double-edged sword. Steroids are required to control the inflammation caused by COVID, and steroids definitely are one major factor in the increased incidence of mucor mycosis. So one has to uh, balance out the usage. We are currently standing outside Ames Hospital in Delhi. Uh, these are the line of pharmacies that you usually see over here. Um, and most medicines are available at these pharmacies, uh, but right now the drug for mucomycosis, the fungal infection whose cases have been rising, there is a drug for it called amphotericin B. That injection is running out of stock at most of these pharmacies over here. While there are several uh, relatives of patients that have been coming in here constantly, Many of those are returning empty-handed because pharmacies have run out of stock. Government says it is amping up production, looking at more options on how to increase availability. But at these pharmacies, it has been out of stock for quite some time. We will try and get a perspective from the pharmacists over here. Sir, do you want to know how much stock is in Amphotericin? How many days have you not come? It's been 10-12 days. 
दस बारह दिन से स्टॉक नहीं हमारे पास और पेशेंट भी जैसे उसकी जो डिमांड है वो ज़्यादा बढ़ चुकी है जैसे बीमारी मेरे ख्याल से ज़्यादा फैल रही है तो उस चक्कर में पेशेंट भी ज़्यादा हो रहे हैं कम से कम मैडम पचास साठ सौ के करीब ही हो जाते हैं सारा रात तक तो सौ पेशेंट कम से कम डेली आते हैं डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर की तरफ से कोई अश्योरेंस मिला है आपको कि कब तक वो भी नहीं बता पा रहे कब तक आएगा We will come to another pharmacy and ask whether they have the injection or not. Sir, आप से जानना चाहेंगे amphotericin B injection जो है वो आप लोगों के पास available है या नहीं सर amphotericin B जो fungal बीमारी है mucomycosis उसके लिए मरीजों के रिश्तेदार आते हैं आप लोगों के पास पूछने के लिए तो उसके stock का फिलहाल क्या situation है आप लोगों की pharmacy पे मैम अभी तो available नहीं है और कितने दिन से यही हालत बनी हुई है स्टॉक की पिछले पाँच दिन से डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर की तरफ से आपको कोई एश्योरेंस नहीं है उनके पास भी स्टॉक है सो दैट्स व्हाट इस द सिचुएशन outside delhi's most prominent hospital which is aims however if you go to these hospitals their own pharmacies do have stock of the medicine we checked with sir gangaram hospital uh, we checked with apollo their own pharmacies the pharmacies that are situated within the hospital premises they do have enough stock for the admitted patients but there are many others who are still looking for this drug in new delhi with camera person sushil rathi this is sukirti devedi for ndtv